Hey, retired granny here. Today I'm going to cook some carne quesada. And this is only the second time that I've made it. So I'm hoping that it comes out as good as the first time because everybody liked it. I'm adding more meat because apparently they didn't feel that I had cooked enough meat. They wanted more, and also Mr. Manluno is coming for dinner. Right, Sophia? Yeah. <laughs> Sophia's dad is coming for dinner, so we want to get make sure he gets a home, nice home cooked meal too. I wanted to videotape this for you kids so that you know how to make it. It's kind of like uh, the picadillo. Um, Carne quesada just means um, stewed meat. It's a stewed meat in Spanish. And it's cooked like a stew. And so it has to simmer like for an hour and a half so that the meat gets real tender. But I wanted you kids to be able to see how I make this so that you can make it. Because I know how much you guys all like the picanillo. And me and Jeff, uh, me and your dad are going to make homemade tortillas um i'm gonna make the masa and he's going to roll them out because we know how good he is at rolling out pizza dough and stuff so i enlisted his um his help today i've already got all my meat ready which here's my meat it's probably about two pounds maybe more of stew meat and I've taken the time to cut it down into smaller pieces because it comes in pretty big chunks. I up the onion in no particular way. Just, um, it's going to cook down anyway. Uh, tomatoes. Got them all ready because everything goes into the pot. And the tomatoes are on the vine ripe tomatoes and they're really meaty. They look really good, so. The tomatoes will cook down quite a bit too. Tomato as long it's going to cook for like almost two hours, so it's all going to cook down and it's going to be in a really nice gravy. And I think you guys are all going to like it. If you can make anybody that can make the pica de oak can make this carne quesada. So I got my pan and I've already put some oil on it, but it was getting too hot and I wasn't ready for it, so I had to take it off. So I got probably about um two or three teaspoons of oil in there the meat's going to make quite a bit of juice so it's going to start it's going to cook in the in the pot with the oil and then we're going to cook it all the way down until it starts to brown okay so now that the meat is browned i'm going to season it with salt and pepper I'm gonna sprinkle the salt in there. Okay, so I like pepper, so I always just stand here and shake, shake, shake the shit out of the pepper. All right, but what I don't like a lot of is garlic. So the garlic is the only thing that has um, a measuring spoon, and I can tell you right now, that's about that's a half a teaspoon of garlic. I don't even know if that's a lot or not. Half a teaspoon of garlic and then a um, couple shakes of the Camino. If you guys have already cooked uh, picadillo, you know how much spices to add. That's all I can tell you to go by. It's not, it's not perfect. What else do I, oh, okay, here we go. And I got two, oops, where did that one go? It fell in there. I got two bouillon cubes. So the bouillon cubes um, are chicken flavor. So we just let the um, let the spices all cook in there with the meat. Just continue browning it. Garlic is in there. Garlic, salt, and I like the coarse um, kosher salt. That's what I like to cook with. The Camino and black pepper. And the chicken bouillon cubes is are the spices that I add to it. And the bouillon cubes are in there, but they'll dissolve with the meat. 
um, I think. I don't cook a lot with green cubes. Okay, so then we're going to add the onion. And we'll add the tomato in there, and then we're going to mix it all together. The tomatoes will make some juice too. So this is what we're making, which is a Mexican stew, and it's called carne quesada. I want you guys to learn to make this because it is an awesome dish. It's one that I grew up with. It's one of my favorites to order in the restaurants if they have it available. So we're gonna let that cook down. I'll turn the flame up a little bit. We're gonna let that cook down and then we'll come back and um, add some more ingredients. You kids uh, have been cooking long enough that you know how to spice up your Food, how you like to add that kind of dry stuff, salt and pepper and Camino when you cook. So I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm sorry I didn't measure it out um, so that I could have told you um, how much to add and um, it, it's it turned into a guessing game. Uh, especially for Liz. Sorry, Liz. Uh, Liz makes rice so Liz, you kind of already know how much salt and pepper and Camino and stuff to add. And another thing, um, which is a personal choice, is uh, the onion and the tomato. I like to leave it kind of bigger and chunkier, but you can chop the onion real fine. You can chop the tomato a lot smaller than what I did. It's one medium-sized onion, one whole onion, and it was uh three good sized tomatoes um and that's two about two and a half pounds of meat so it's just like again it's it's guessing i'm just guessing just trying to give you guys the idea on how to do it and then you guys can um work with it too okay this is what the meat looks like the tomato is starting to cook down and uh, the onions, it smells really good. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add three heaping spoons of flour. One, two, adding an extra spoon to this because the last time I made it, it, um, didn't thicken as much as I wanted it to, and I had added two spoons to that, so um, so the flour is coating everything, and it you can see everything is nice and coated. So for two tablespoons of flour, add two and a half cups of water, and for three tablespoons of flour, add three and a half cups of water. So, and then I'm gonna turn this on high and I want to bring it to a boil and then I'm going to turn the flame all the way down to simmer. And I'm just mixing everything up making sure that all that flour is mixed up in there it was coating so that we get a nice gravy out of it I put a lid on it so that it comes to a quicker boil as it comes to a boil i'm going to put it on simmer and it's going to simmer for an hour and a half okay so this is what the carne quesada came out looking like and as you can see, all of the onion and the um, tomato kind of disintegrated, even though I left it in big chunks. So I guess it doesn't matter. So anyway, it's done, and we're going to plate it up. So here we go. This is what it looks. This is what our plates look like. Thank you, Sophia, for the garnish. <laughs> Sophia put the garnish on the plates. Mm.
Mm -hmm. Very good. Good. Wow. And Mr. Man Luno is here with us for dinner. Sophia's dad. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is what we got. Okay. Eat up, everybody. Thank you, Lord, for this.